Yo, our Mac games here. Um, I just downloaded Windows 11, and like most, I always get really excited when a new Windows comes out. And you know what? They're few and far between nowadays. So I'm just going to do a little a dive into, I guess, what I would, you know, what the stuff I would look for if I was just starting on a Windows uh, 11. Not a lot of people have upgraded yet. Most people don't because there's always bugs to be ironed out. Um, so... Let's check it out. Let's check it out together. Um, now, this is the default screen, default wallpaper. This is, I know there's like other custom default kind of display options. This is just the one it starts with. I always keep it as the basic. I never change my icons up or anything. <clears throat> so, as you can tell, when you first join in, when you first install, the first thing you notice right away is the taskbar toolbar down here. Um, it's in the middle. Now it's more so, I think they're trying to go for like a Mac sort of thing. You know, it was a little jarring at first because I was like, you know, all your tabs are up down here. Now this doesn't seem like much room for tabs, but they're not so big. They're not big tabs anymore. They're just little icons when you open something up. I mean, let's open something up that wasn't down there. Hmm. Um, all right. Well, bad example. Let me see here. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, let's open up a little tab down here. So, right away, I was like, oh, I'm going to move this over to the left. Because I'm, I'm accustomed to that. But, you know what? I'm kind of digging this. I'm kind of digging this lots. Um, also, the search bar is kind of smaller. It's just the one icon now. Now, I always had made mine that size anyway. <clears throat> so, I mean, to each their own. Uh, but I'm kind of digging this. As you can see, it, when you open it up, it's definitely a little bit different. It's more soft. I think the colors, that's what I'm getting from it, has a more soft hue to it. Um, also, when I installed it on my SSD, so I'm rocking like a small SSD. It's like 120 just for my OS. But it was only 30 gigabytes when I installed, when I upgraded to it, which is awesome. Uh, recycling bin, I think, believe that was the only icon that was on the desktop when I opened her up. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty the same here. Icons at the top are a little bit different. I want to show, uh, when you right click, you got new here. This looks a lot nicer. Um, uh, open windows thermal, that's new. I think that's like a DOS type thing. Is that what I'm guessing? Run? I don't really know how to use DOS. <laughs> That's what I, I don't know. Was that always there? I know maybe like com command prompt was there. Maybe that's what it was. Um, little notifications on your icons. If you look down at my Xbox kind of icon there, as you can see, yeah, there's notifications right on it, which is kind of um, helpful. So obviously I already got some things installed here. So these ones, aside from this Windows Store, so these were, I put those down there. This is what it came with. Came with these one, two, three, four, five. First one, that's just your start. Now I'm glad they kept the start menu. Remember when they tried to take it off in like Windows 8 or some, some stupid debacle. But it's there. When you do press it, look, looks a lot different. These are your pinned, uh, this is a lot more cleaner. I, I like this a lot better. Because no one went to their start menu in their folders. You know, you, 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 you just didn't use it anymore. It kind of lost its purpose. So I like this. So I got my pinned apps. The ones I'm not going to put on my toolbar. I like this. I like this a lot. You got your all apps. And then you got your, your what you're used to looking at. But again, it looks a lot more softer. A lot more easier on the eyes. I don't know what word to describe it as soft. And I do like it. And then you recommend it down there more. I don't know what the recommended is. Recently added. And of course you can search. So, um, flight simulator. And then you, yeah, same thing. Stuff pops up. So I do like this. I do like this. Uh, that one. And the search bar again, same thing. I just showed you that. Oh, what's this? Microsoft Awards. Am I familiar with those? Sign up for free. Given with Bing, is it something tied to Bing? Not gonna, not gonna bite. Not gonna bite. Um, to the right of that is you have. Oh yeah, you can show me on my desktop. So your virtual desktop. So they're really implementing virtual desktop into 
uh, into this version of Windows. And I noticed uh, some, from what I read, they've integrated a lot of... It's easier switching, unplugging monitors, switching to laptops, uh, stuff like that. Snapping seems pretty... You know, I thought it was always pretty intuitive. It seems nice now. Actually, you know what? It's pretty much the same, I would think. I mean, there's probably some cool new features in there that just I'm not, you know, I'm not too familiar with. But I, 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 I sure they're they're in there somewhere. Um, so virtual desktop, that's just a like you can't even take that away from your toolbar, at least not from the desktop or maybe in a menu or something. Uh, to the right of that, widgets. So they're really pushing widgets, and you know what? I never liked widgets, but I'm using a Google Pixel. And I'm finding myself more and more over to like when you swipe left and it has all your news columns down. I'm finding myself using a lot more. So this is like hooked to my Bing account so it doesn't really know me. You know, my Google account knows everything about me. Maybe, maybe uh, this would be like once it starts learning things about me, they'll, I'll find this useful. Again, this is something that is just kind of you can't, there's no right click remove. It's just kind of built in there. Uh, to the right of that, you get chat. I assume Microsoft owns Zoom. Do they own... No, Zoom, I meant to say. They also are partners with... What's the one that always, always, always uses? Video chat. I don't know. I can't think of it. Either way, I'm not going to use that, you know. Uh, they're trying to push that because, you know, Google Chromebooks have taken over classrooms. Google's really taken over that peer-to-peer -peer video software. So, obviously, they're going to do something about it. Again, you can't right-click, take it off. So, they're really pushing for that. To write that, Microsoft Store. So, Microsoft Store has had a little boost. Now, you can, they do have Android apps integrated right into the Microsoft Store. Um, there was a couple of ways you could access the Android apps on Windows 10, if you had like a Galaxy um, or something like that. But, uh, well, yeah, well, I guess, okay, maybe they're not released yet. But they are coming, the Android apps, to Windows 11, which I think is super handy. A lot of times I go download an app and I can't, couldn't get it on Windows 10. So cool. I am digging that. Uh, Microsoft Store looks pretty much the same. Actually, no, again, it has that soft look. I'm liking this. Let's try to download this. This like came with the computer and it just it won't download. Something happened on our end. No, oh, look, now it's downloading. Maybe we'll see. That's right. Yeah, it just wouldn't work for me. Um, oh, no, look again. Retry. So, of course, there's going to be bugs. Um, a big bug, I was trying to play my games. I was trying to install my Xbox games onto my SSD. Not my OS SSD, but another SSD. And it was problems. I couldn't access some of the folders. I didn't have permissions. And I don't remember that ever happening when I upgraded to Windows 10. I don't remember it upgrading when I did a reinstall of Windows 10. But it was super frustrating. It took me a while to get my games installed. And on a side note, like I had my Xbox... Game Pass games installed on the hard drive, and I couldn't just like use those installed versions. I had to reinstall new ones, which is you know, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, I figured it out. There's going to be some trial and error on a new Windows, obviously. That's just the name of the game. Uh, you know, from what I told when I'm recommended, the first six months of a new OS, you don't want to you don't want to download it because you're you know you're the beta testers. But fuck, you know, if you love tech. You know, you're going you're gonna to want it. You're going to have to have it. So another big thing was uh, some Android older processors aren't supported. So you got to be like a Ryzen 2000 and up. So I got a Ryzen 5 1600X. Um, not supported for Windows. So technically I have no customer support. Uh, they said I couldn't even upgrade to Windows 11. I had to go in the BIOS and like uh, change something to TPB, TPU. I don't know. I'm not that tech savvy in it, but, uh, oh my god, look at this. Look at the full screen button. Just notice this. So you hover over full screen, and you can kind of set where, okay, that's cool snapping. That's cool. This I'm digging. And you can have your stuff like that. Boom. Oh, ho, ho. digging. All right, so that's kind of a cool feature. Uh, yeah, so I was reading on something that those snap features weren't integrated into Windows 10, which is, I don't know why, um, you know, you th that's nothing that Windows 10 couldn't handle. 
Um, next, let's check out the taskbar. So it looks pretty much the same as in, but the volume command, you can't actually remove this. I like to move this. I like to have it out of my face because I use sound switch to kind of monitor my video stuff. Um, you know, it's a shame we can't use it. Uh, the clock looks the same. Notification bar kind of looks the same. The right side menu, again, has a better, it has a softer look. Like, you know what? It's nicer. Not much has changed in it. Except there, it didn't have, it doesn't have, like, where you could, you know, put into night mode. And I'm sure it's there somewhere. Oh, wait. Let's just, let's right, let's right click. Adjust date and time notification settings. Yeah, we'll look at the settings menu in a second. But the taskbar is pretty much the same. Uh, you have a Microsoft Teams icon that's just over there. Like I said... That's their peer-to-peer -peer chat. They're really trying to push their peer-to-peer -peer video um, kind of conferencing software. Again, Google has just dominated that space, so they're always, they have to compete. Uh, da -da, Jack Media, Windows Security looks pretty much the same. I think the same options in there as before. Soon, let's check out File Explorer. And you know what? This pretty much looks the same to me. Um, some new icons for like your downloads, your music, pictures, and videos. But for the most part, is the same. Right clicking on something. So like you, you'll have like your share, your copy, and your delete will be up here now. Which is that's kind of, it's going to take a little bit to get used to. But then it has all the main kind of functions you would kind of need here. And it has the show more options, which is kind of gives you your old looking menu as before. But, you know, you're a little more familiar with this, a little bit more comfort food. I think it has some of the same functions as your normal right click. So it's kind of share, copy. Yeah, look, it has copy in there, but you can just copy here. So it's weird that they would just use a skin. They like copy and pasted this sort of format from Windows 10. I think that's a little bit lazy. Maybe they'll update that on uh you know on another time. Um let's go to settings. Let's check it out. Settings again, softer. It looks a lot more nice than it did before. Um system, you got your display. I found the display settings are a lot more intuitive now. Uh looks beautiful. So when I switch my main display, I wonder if I can show you. Like, there's no, like, flashing going, uh, or, like, loads or something. Let me, let me do this. Can I do it? Maybe I can't do it. I forgot I was just doing it. Uh, maybe we can't do it. No, we'll figure this. We'll do it right now. Personalize display settings. Yeah, so I'll go to one, make this my main display. Pretty much just, boom, flicks like that. Super, super nice, super nice. Before I would do that, and, like... I don't know, like the screens would flash, start, start, with stuff would start shuffling around. And it was just, you know, wasn't that great. Digging this. I'm digging this. Um, oh, yeah, system settings. You got your sound, focus, says power. Storage. Boom, whoop. Drop me beat. Um, looks nice. Looks a lot nicer. I find its stuff moves a lot, you know, smoother. Um. You know, and a big part of that, maybe because I just, you know, reformatted, got a whole new, you know, operating system on, delete everything on the, uh, on my SSD, my OS SSD. Um, so, you know, that plays a part too, but it, it just does seem smoother. It does seem more intuitive. Uh, my accounts administrator, blah, blah. There's a gaming section, Xbox game bar. That's just, it was, I don't know if that was always integrated into kind of the, you know, the system menu. Oh, graphics. Let's check this. Mm, nah, I don't think that's doing anything. Um, yeah. So, apps, offline maps, apps and features. And I this was a feature before. Oh no. No. Um, game mode, optimize your PC for play. Game mode, optimize your PC for turning things off in the background. I don't know if that was there before, but 
It's more about game mode. Maybe it does something cool. Issues with games. We're aware the customers are experiencing problems with Forza Horizon 5, which I had big problems with Forza Horizon 5. I hard crashed at least eight times. You can check me out on uh, the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Games. I hard crashed constantly. And that was when I was on Windows 10. I actually moved up to Windows 11, and it ran a lot better, which is weird. Normally, you know, normally it's the other way around. Maybe this was the day after. Maybe they just fixed it. But, um, yeah. So not much info in there about game mode. So I guess, you know, there's nothing really in there. Accessibility, um, visual effects, nothing really new, I don't think. But I am never really in there. Eye control, eye tracker. Oh, yeah. Connect to an eye tracker to use that. That'd be cool to have an eye tracker. I don't think that was built in the system um, menu before. But kind of cool. Find my device, track your device. I don't think that was built in there. That is nice. Windows update, blah. Check for updates. I'm update last to check today. Um, I don't use Bing. So I'm not even going to begin to show you Bing because I don't really know if it has changed. The integration has changed with this, even though I got these Bing points. But uh, yeah, that's a gist of Windows 11. I'm still like, you know, I'm still getting into it. So maybe it will... Maybe I'll find more, you know, features that are kind of game-breaking or game-changing for that matter. And maybe I don't. I'm enjoying it so far. A uh, few bugs right at first, but they seem to... I kind of iron them out myself. Uh, I'm digging it so far. You know what? I'm going to keep my taskbar in the middle here. I'm kind of liking it. You don't have to, you know, in case you search many, you don't have to go so far over to the left side. Plus, those are all my apps I'm, I only have open anyway. So there is all right there. Those are the only things I'm ever having open. So, I mean, it, it works out good. So, so far, I'm liking it. I mean, a 9 out of 10. I mean, it's Windows. What, what are you going to do? It's, it's fucking Windows. Unless you're a Mac user, then I don't want you watching anyway. But, you know what? Uh, Windows, I'll always love it. And uh, I'm, d I'm digging this inter integration. Iteration? Yeah, you get what I'm saying anyways. Um, and you know what? This is just a start. I'm sure there's going to be lots of good upgrades. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions on Windows 11 or you need help, you know, upgrading or anything, shoot me a DM, like, subscribe. Uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Peace out.